Hello everyone, this video is about the ruins of Vindenberg Castle, which is located in Bar, Switzerland. If you're seeing this video through a Facebook link, you can definitely share it. What will help me most is subscribing to my YouTube channel. The Vindenberg Castle was built in the early 13th century by the Lords of Hunenberg. It was used as a residential castle above Lusentabel. This location was strategically selected as it had a line of sight to the bridge that connected the higher villages to the valley. The castle was first mentioned in writing in 1309 and it was called Windenburg. And it was also mentioned as being the most important part of the legacy of Gottfried von Hunenberg. In 1409, Rudolf von Hunenberg still described himself as from the Vindenberg. But in 1416, the surrounding property of the castle was sold. The family, which were citizens of the city of Zug since 1383, are assumed to have died out around 1450. The castle was left vacant and turned to ruins. In the 16th century, this area was used as a quarry. It wasn't until 1938 when the first excavations were made. Only the uppermost part of the castle were visible, but it was insufficiently preserved. In 1956, the northwest corner fell into the nearby gorge. In 1978, the castle became privately owned by the Canton of Zug, but a loan for the restoration was rejected in 1981 by vote by the Zug citizens. In 1985, a complete renovation with archeological follow-up was possible. This was due to private donations. You can visit the site, which is 3.5 kilometers east of Zug, by taking the number two bus and getting off at the seventh stop. Then you need to climb the grassy hill, which if you're lucky, you'll see some cows. I'd recommend entering the forest on the second entry point on the left. The path through the forest is very steep. There are some rails in some locations, but if you're afraid of heights or it's wet out, you definitely need to take a lot of precaution. You will be rewarded with a wonderful view of a waterfall, a lot of nature, and yes, at the end of the trail is the castle. I recommend this hike and this visit if you have a couple free hours and you're in the Zug area. I did take the bus on my way to the castle. On the way back, I decided to walk. It took me about 45 minutes, but it was mostly downhill. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.